crafting a detailed fight scene in a novel by Sarnia de la Mer. Writing a compelling fight scene in a novel is about much more than choreographing blows and dodges. It's about creating an immersive, emotionally charged experience that puts your readers in the heart of the action. Whether it's a sword fight in a medieval fantasy, a brawl in a gritty urban setting, or a futuristic battle, the fight should drive the story forward, deepen character development, and keep readers on the edge of their seats. Here's how you can write a detailed, effective fight scene, and some famous examples that show how it's done. 1. Define the stakes. Before diving into the fight itself, clearly define what's at risk. Is it life or death? A key turning point in the character's emotional arc? A battle for honor? The higher the stakes, the more the reader will care about the outcome. The fight must serve the narrative purpose and should push the story forward in a significant way. Example, in The Princess Bride, the iconic duel between Inigo Montoya and the Man in Black is not just about swordsmanship, it's about honor, skill, and revenge. Inigo has spent his life seeking vengeance for his father's murder, and the duel is a critical moment in his journey. The fight itself is beautifully choreographed, but it's the stakes and personal motivation that make it unforgettable. 2. Character Motivation and Emotion Fight scenes become powerful when they reveal character. Every movement or attack should reflect the inner state of the characters involved. Are they afraid, angry, or focused? Do they hesitate or fight with reckless abandon? Use the fight as an opportunity to show how your character responds under pressure. Example, in The Hunger Games, Katniss Everdeen's fights are not just about survival, but about protecting her loved ones and maintaining her humanity in the face of a brutal, dehumanizing system. Her inner conflict is as compelling as the physical battle she faces. Suzanne Collins keeps the focus on Katniss's emotional turmoil, allowing readers to connect with her in even the most intense action scenes. 3. Pacing and Rhythm Fight scenes thrive on dynamic pacing. Quick, sharp sentences mirror fast-paced combat, while longer sentences can convey a sense of anticipation or strategic maneuvers. Break up longer paragraphs with rapid, staccato bursts of action to make the scene feel immediate and visceral. Balance high-intensity moments with brief pauses for breath, reflection, or the briefest dialogue, creating a natural rhythm. Example, in Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, Arthur Conan Doyle writes with clinical precision during a fight scene. Holmes analyzes his opponent's movements and plans each counterattack with a methodical approach, creating a layered scene where the pacing slows briefly as he thinks, only to speed up as the actual fight unfolds. This creates a mix of tension and release that keeps the reader engaged. 4. Detail the environment. Don't forget the setting. A fight scene isn't just two characters exchanging blows in a vacuum. Where the fight takes place can add tension, drama, and additional challenges. Are they battling in a dark alley, where every corner hides danger? Is there furniture that can be used as a weapon or a narrow ledge that raises the stakes of a fall? Example, in The Matrix, Neo's fight with Agent Smith in the subway is enhanced by the environment, the crumbling pillars, the speeding train, and the close quarters all heighten the tension and make the scene more intense. The environment is part of the battle, limiting options and forcing the characters to be creative. 5. Keep the scene grounded in realism or consistent with your world's rules. Even in fantasy or sci-fi, fight scenes need to feel believable within the context of your world. That means staying consistent with your character's skills, physical limitations, and the rules of the world you've created. A novice fighter shouldn't suddenly become a martial arts expert unless there's a reason. Realistic injuries, fatigue, and recovery times add believability to your scene and help sustain the tension. Example, in The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch, fights are scrappy and often brutal. Locke, a thief, isn't a skilled fighter, and his lack of training shows in the gritty, unpolished way he fights. The realism in these scenes is what makes them effective, the characters take damage, they tire out, and they're not invincible. 6. Use sensory details. Immerse your reader by describing what the character is experiencing physically and emotionally. What does the sweat on their skin feel like? 
Is their vision narrowing from exhaustion? Can they hear their own ragged breathing or the sound of footsteps approaching? Sensory details give fight scenes a visceral, raw energy that can transport readers into the heat of the moment. Example, in The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, the fight scenes are deeply evocative because Miller focuses on the sounds of battle, the feeling of Achilles' armor as it weighs down his body, and the emotional intensity of the fight. The sensory details enhance the scene, making it feel both grounded and mythic. 7. Break up the action with dialogue or internal thought. In longer fights, it can be effective to insert brief moments of dialogue or the protagonist's internal thoughts. This allows readers to catch their breath and offers insight into the character's mindset during the fight. However, this must be done sparingly so as not to break the tension or slow down the action too much. Example, in The Name of the Wind, Patrick Rothfuss intersperses Kavoth's fight scenes with the character's internal monologue, which adds humor and a layer of self-awareness. This technique allows readers to stay inside Kavoth's head while the physical battle unfolds around him. 8. End with consequences. What happens after the fight can be just as important as the fight itself. The aftermath should reveal something new about the characters, the plot, or the world. Does the hero win but suffer a devastating injury? Does the antagonist escape, leaving unresolved tension? These consequences will carry the emotional weight of the scene forward. Example, in A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin, the infamous fight between Brienne of Tarth and the Hound isn't just a brutal, bloody brawl, it has lasting consequences. Both characters are physically and emotionally changed by the encounter, and the outcome influences their future arcs in the story. Final Thoughts A great fight scene isn't just about the physical blows exchanged, it's about what the fight reveals about the characters and how it drives the story forward. By focusing on stakes, character motivation, pacing, and sensory detail, you can craft a fight that will leave readers breathless, invested, and eagerly turning the page.